various groups have different ways of getting what they want. Once, when I was doing some protesting, somebody pointed out in our group that protesting is a white hippie thing. This is really a profound point when you think of what protesting is and other ways people have to get their desires into place. It's not just a white hippie thing. There is one prominent church today that's M.O. is picketing. They picket like no one else. I've never seen any liberal leftist group picket like this. This is, of course, West World Baptist Church. They even call it a picketing ministry. That, to me, says a whole lot. It makes me wonder, since they place such a great emphasis on picketing, is picketing in and of itself an incorrect way of handling getting your desires in the world. Westboro Baptist Church is craze picketing. They picket anyone and virtually everyone. It's picket nonstop. Back in my younger days, I had this type of reaction to things. I didn't, of course, picket homosexuals like they do, but I picketed. In fact, I was once quoted for our school newspaper as saying it's always good to picket because we can. Years later, I've realized it's better to pick and choose your battles. So in the last several years, I've hardly picketed at all. Maybe the last time was sometime in 2007 and is now 2009. And this was something I believe was very important to picket. It wasn't everything like I did in my younger days. And as I've been saying in other talks, what I'm trying to do is improve myself and become the best political person I can be. I focus on Westboro Baptist Church because they so resemble a big part of me. And I'm seeking to become better. Like I've also mentioned, I've been focusing a lot on Wayne Dyer's words I heard on one of his audio seminars. These words are, Don't will, be willing, the universe resists demands. Is picketing always an exercise in demanding? Now there are people who have picketed and we uplift them. Martin Luther King Jr., for example. Thus, I wonder, is it how we picket that makes it right or wrong? Or is it that picketing is always wrong or always problematic, to put it a little more lightly? Picketing wasn't the first impulse I had when I was in high school I expressed my political point of view in other ways besides picketing. When I went to college I learned about picketing and became acquainted with it. It's something I grabbed onto and also consequently I grabbed onto leftism. To me Leftists were against the government and against bad things in society, and so was I. It seemed like a natural fit. But years later, I realized how utterly different I am than leftists. Any protester knows people hate protesting. Is this because the protesters are wrong, or is it because the people who object to the protesting are wrong. 
And even more so, people hate Westboro Baptist Church. People view protesting as a very pushy thing. Is it always a pushy thing? People don't like when leftists protest or run-of-the-mill rightists. They really hate when Westboro Baptist Church protests. It seems to me Westboro Baptist Church and their picketing is an intensification of the other forms of picketing. Wayne Dyer is right, the universe does resist demands. But is this a rule that is a rule in most cases out there? Or is it always the case? Is picketing ever justified? I wonder. Why is the Westboro Baptist Church seizes upon this? Some have said that picketing is a tool that those out of power use because they don't have the avenues of power. And I think there's some validity to this. And Westboro Baptist Church is one of the least powerful groups in society because they are not part of the mainstream. They are the most out of the mainstream group possible. And is this picketing ministry a representative representation of how the powerless sees on to picketing? Now there's another spiritual law called the law of reversibility that I have come across. I don't know who invented this law, but a lot of books talk about it. Wayne Dyer, I believe, talks about it. This law says, instead of waiting until you become what you want and then change, and you change to be what you want before you get it. For example, if you want to get rich, you act rich before you become rich rather than become rich and then act rich. It's very counterintuitive, most definitely. So if people wanted to become influential in society, would they resort to picketing? That is a tough question to answer. If picketing is a sign signifies that you lack power would you want to discard that before you got to power is picketing effective in Westboro Baptist Church's case they alienate people they say it's a great way to get the message out to a lesser extent, other protesters alienate people. If picketing is an ineffective way of making change, then what is the right way? Interestingly, through the book Energy of Money, I learned about treasure maps where you cut out various things to make a statement of what you want to do in your life. And I am very political, so I've had political treasure maps. After doing one, it caused me to do a lot of introspection and I pasted all these things from radical political groups on there. And then I realized these are the wrong pieces. I need motivational speaker pieces. They have a different way about, of going about things, of getting things done. Jesse Ventura had a different way. He wasn't one who picketed. He got things done. He did the impossible. Is Westboro Baptist Church picketing a representation of their approach to the universe that they want to demand things, they want to will things into power, into being, but that can't work? The motivational speakers say change yourself. Some say change yourself instead of change the world. But you don't have to have one or the other. You can do both. Westboro Baptist Church doesn't change themselves. They push themselves through picketing and other means. So it makes me wonder, is picketing inherently bad? Inherently problematic? 